Hi everyone, welcome back to the best Radio Set series. Uh, we have already covered around 61 great and uh, must do revision sets for CAD. So I think this is the playlist that all of you should revisit. Solve all the sets, look at all the video solutions. I'm sure at least two or three unique concepts will definitely be used in your CAD or CAD exam. Okay, with this, today we are going to cover a very different concept. I will not talk about this concept for now, but this is the set in front of you. I would request everyone to pause the video, attempt the set right now, and then comment whether you were able to solve the set and what was the time taken. If you were not able to solve the set or, or even if you guys were able to solve the set, I would strongly encourage all of you to watch the complete video because you'll learn a lot of shortcuts by just watching this particular video. Okay, so let's understand what the set says. I'm Calcutta. Uh, this is a campus which is very close to my heart, and hence this set is based on I am Calcutta. Okay. So I am Calcutta provides specialization in four streams, namely finance, marketing, operations, and HR. The students of I am Calcutta have pursued one of the following four undergraduate degrees before joining the I am Calcutta program, right? It can be either BBA, BCom, BTEC, or hotel management. The first table gives the distribution of students in each stream in terms of the undergraduate degree. Okay, the first table, this is the first table, it gives the distribution of students in each stream. Okay, in terms of the undergraduate degree, right? What does this mean? Stream number one, let's say finance, right? So 20% of the finance students are having an undergraduate degree of BCom, then 10, then 10, and then 60. So sum of all of these have to be 60, have to be 100. So 20 plus 20, 40 plus 60 is 100. Yes, similarly, right? The second table gives the distribution of students having each undergraduate degree in terms of the four stream, which means people who joined IIM Calcutta from an undergraduate degree of BCom, 25% of them joined finance, 12.5 joined marketing and operations, and 50% joined HR. And then there are certain questions, right? That if there are 30 students who pursued something, what is the number of students who pursued something else? Which means I have to find each of these variables in terms of each other, right? So this is what is given to me. So I've just simplified or I'm trying to make this table again, but uh, the original table that was given to me was in terms of percentage. And now I have to maybe take one variable, say X, and I have to put all of these variables in terms of X so that I can take the ratio and can fill all the values accordingly. So here, the standard way is, because this is a percentage, I'll assume any of it, any of these eight variables, either I'll assume finance, the total number of students who belong to finance division be 100x. Why 100x? Because if I take the number as 100, the percentage calculations which become much more easier. You can take anything that you want, or I can take marketing or operations or HR or BCom, BBA, BTEC or HM, right? You can do, or you start from anywhere. For the sake of simplicity, I'll just assume Okay, let's assume that BCom is 100x, right? If I'm assuming BCom to be 100x, I'll just write 100x here, right? If this is 100x, finance will be 25x, right? This will be 50x, right? And then 12.5x. This is just the distribution of the BCom students across different streets that they perform. And I know BCom and finance is 25x. So similarly, BCom and finance intersection has to be 25x. Similarly, this has to be 12.5x. Right, I'm just trying to fill the above table based on the below one. Why? Because I have individual percentages from each of it, and this data will really help me a lot. You can just understand how will it help me. Very short. Okay. So now we have understood the finance data when we have removed. Okay. Now we Now I know 25 x is finance and BCom, but I know that finance ki only 20 percent students were from BCom, right? Which means 25x is nothing but 20%. Of average student, what they'll do is they'll find out the total number of finance students here, total number of finance students, kitna hai, right? If 20%, 25x is 100%, kitna ho gaya, into 5, 125, 125x, and then they'll calculate individual values. But the smart people, what they'll say, if 20% value is 25x, then 10% value is 25x, then 10% ka value is 25x, just half of it. So I'll directly put 12.5x here. This will be 12.5x. And if 20% is 25x, so 60% has to be three times of it. So it has to be 75x, right? If I know these values, this is the distribution of finance. So I can simply put these values here, right? That this is 12.5x. 
This is 12.5x and then this is 75x. Right? I'll put all of these values here. Correct? So now let's start with BBA. So BBA 8.33% is 12.5x, right? Either I would calculate the net percentile value or I will simply write other things as a, a percentage of it, right? Okay. Now, if 8.33% is the corresponding to 12.5x, so what will 25% correspond to? Either I will say 8.33% is what? 1 by, like, we know 16.67% ka half 8.233%, right? And 16.66% give now that. It is, it is nothing but 1 by 8, right? If it is 1 by 8, sorry, it is 1 by 6, right? Aap ek step or ahi ja sakte ho. Okay, let's start with 33.33%, which is 1 by 3. So 16.66 is 1 by 6. So 8.33 has to be 1 by 12. So kar lo. You simply try to find a correlation to 25% kaise. If I multiply 8.33% into 3, I will get 25%, right? 8, 3 is a 24, and then this is 1 by 3 into 3, 1. So this is nothing but 3 times of 12.5x. So 3 times of 12.5x is nothing but 37.5x. If this is 37.5x, this will also be equal to 37.5x, right? Correct? So if 25% is 37.5x, one way is I'll, I'll just multiply it by 4 and I'll get 100% of the value. Right? That is one way. Or what could be the other way? Other way could be 100% nikal do. That will be your BBA. And then simply write 41.67%, right? That is another way. Or third way, the fastest way is here 41 go 25 ki terms mein to I can't represent. But can I find a correlation between 8.33 and 41.67? Here it looks as if 85 is a 40. Let's check. This is 1 by 3 into 5, right? So yes, it makes sense. 1 by 3 into 5, 5 by 3, 1.67. 85 is a 40. 40 plus 1.67 is 41.67%, right? So, yes, this is clearly 5 times of it. 5 times kitna ho gaya? 5 times is 25. So, this is 2.5 plus 60. So, it has to be 62.5x. I'm just doing it slow so that you understand how do we do fast calculation. Right? And 25% was 37.5x. And 37.5x into 4. Is what I will do. 37.5 into 2 is 75. 75 into 2 is 150. So nothing but 150x. Right? Then I'll try to fill these values also accordingly. 37.5x, 62.5x. Either you can start from top or you can start from bottom. Bottom is okay. Okay. Abhi similarly, we take ka dekhte. We have 12.5x here. I know 6.25 into 4 is 25%, right? This is clearly into 4. If this is into 4, so, Sade Baraka into 4 is 25 into 250. This has to be 50x. Right? Very conveniently. Now, I know. Now, what Either 6.25 into 6 is 37.5x. First thing is 25% is 50x. So, 100% will be what? Into 4. So, this has to be 200x. Right? If this is 200x, simply value nikal lo yaar. 37.5% is 50% of 25%, right? So, 50% of 50x will be what? 25x is my add. So this is 50 plus 25. This has to be 75x. Right? I hope you are understanding what I am doing here. Okay? Now simply, 31.25% how do I represent? 6.25 into 5 is 31.25. Right? Clearly, 25 into 5 is 125. 6 into 5 is 30. 30 plus 1.25 is 31.25. So 12.5 into 5 is 60. 2.5x. The only thing is you have to fill the numbers very fast. The faster you do it, the better school you will get in CAT exam. And hence, I have chosen this set particularly because people are very afraid. They think that the calculation is very easy. But it's not like Now, 25% is 75x. So clearly, this is 75 into 4, which is 150 into 300x. 25% is 75, so 50% is 150x. 37.5x. So, again, the 37.5x, right? So, I just put these values. 150x. Though I don't even need to fill these values right now because it's already a bit of a But still, for the sake of it, I've done it. Now, let's solve all the four questions. First question is if there are 130 students who pursued undergraduate BBA or marketing to overlap. BBA and marketing is 37.5x. The value is 
थर्टी है पूछा गया है बीटेक एंड फाइनेंस बीटेक एंड फाइनेंस कितना साढ़े बारह एक्स है साढ़े बारह एक्स पूछा है क्लियरली साढ़े बारह एक्स इज वॉट वन थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स वन थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी विल बी नथिंग बट टेन राइट सो अगेन आई डोट टू इंडिविजुअली कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू डायरेक्टली हो जाएगा फाइंड द रेशियो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ बीबीए स्टूडेंट्स हुए ऑपरेट फॉर ऑपरेशन बीबीए का ऑपरेशन कितना है होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड फाइनेंस का ओवरलैप होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड फाइनेंस इज थर्टी सेवेंटी फाइव एक्स राइट दैट सेट दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू कैसे करोगे बताओ सिंपल राइट दिस इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन सेवन फिफ्टी पच्चीस से कर लो पच्चीस इंटू पच्चीस इज छ सौ पच्चीस थर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई थर्टी इज नथिंग बट फाइव बाई सिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम होटल मैनेजमेंट Who opted for either marketing or operations? Hotel management से marketing और operations वाले कितने हैं? One fifty plus thirty seven point five. One eighty seven point five x is equals to one fifty. Right? Marketing and operations वाले ये है ना? Correct. This is not it is. Then find the number of students in HR who either have pursued BCom or BTech. HR वाले BCom BTech. Right? HR वाले बीकॉम और बीटेक सो बीकॉम एरा बीटेक एरा 50x प्लस 62.1 62.5x कितना होता है 112.5x की वैल्यू आपको निकालनी है राइट सिंपली या दिस आई विल नॉट डू दिस आई लीव एज अ होमवर्क फॉर एवरीवन आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू फाइंड द वैल्यू एंड आल्सो टेल मी कि तुम इसको जल्दी कैसे सॉल्व करोगे राइट काफी सिंपल है 187.5x कितना है तो 112.5x के कितना होगा दैट्स इट ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज फाइन द रेशियो ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव ऑप्टेड फॉर फाइनेंस टू दोस हु हैव ऑप्टेड फॉर मार्केटिंग फाइनेंस वर्सेस मार्केटिंग निकालना है राइट फाइनेंस वर्सेस मार्केटिंग सिंपली ऐड करना है राइट कितना हो गया 75 प्लस 25 इज 100 दिस इज व्हाट 25 125x और ये तुम्हारा कितना हो गया 37.5 प्लस दिस इज 50x 50 50 100 प्लस 100 इज व्हाट 250 राइट सो दिस इज वन इज टू द रेशियो ऑफ I hope guys you enjoyed the set. It looks easy if you are able to crack and at least start. So at least catch me. The learning is if you are not able to understand any set, yeah, hundred x man ke start doing it. The, ऐसा होगा कि शुरू में नहीं समझेगा कि यार all these variables can be written in the form of each other. But the moment you put any variable as hundred x and start calculating the number, the 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 set solution will become a cake walk for you. Okay. If you are liking this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. This will help us reach out to a lot of more aspirants just like you. And please, please, please share this with your friends. I know you are in added in tons of groups. Kindly help us reach out to a lot of aspirants so that we can keep on making such great videos for you. Guys.